Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Kindness 376. Minimum cost to make a way. You call, you call drama, you call in, you get it. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So basically, the idea about this one is, um, let's skip the paradromic part for one for now, right? Then basically, you want to minimize the total possible cost, and the cost is just, uh, yeah, the, the absolute values of the delta, right? So, of course, this is basically uh, a problem that if you've done enough lead code and if you haven't, it's fine, it's not your fault, but a lot of people have done it and that's why they got it fast, right? Um, is that in that case, you want to find, you want to choose the medium element and the median element is going to be good. And th like, like I said, skipping the paradromic part for now, Medium element is going to be good because basically if you have A, B, C, D, E, right? Uh, let's say there's an odd number of elements. We'll do it for even in a second. Then if you choose, say, if you choose C minus 1, well, that means that you're going to add three, num three numbers of one farther away and two numbers are closer away. But it's still, that means that you that uh, if you choose C minus 1, the entire... Uh, cost is going to be plus one. You could do the same logic for C plus one because everything in uh, if you choose C plus one, <coughs> um, if you choose C plus one, then uh, it is no bueno because because every number that's smaller than C plus one or smaller than C, you have to add one to go farther away, and only two numbers get a subtraction that you get closer. So that's why always in these cases, it's gonna be median. And you can also kind of draw a similar process for, um, for even uh, number of numbers, right? So we have something like this, right? Uh, so it turns out that every number in between C and D, so it could be C plus one, as long as C is not equal to D, of course, but uh, yeah then every number in between is going to be the same because even if you move left, you move right, uh, you have three numbers to the left, three numbers to the right, so so you add three minus three, so it all balances out. Uh, okay, so that's without the palindrome. So what does this mean for this problem, right? That means that you want to be as close to the palindrome as possible. As we said, um, for a even number, uh, like we say, we're going to try something close to them, but... But we'll just do the odd number first, just as a understanding thing, right? As we said, so we we choose some c minus x, then every number to the right of that is going to be added and so forth. But basically, you want to be as close as possible because, well, that just affects your numbers, right? And yeah, and that's basically it. And so the idea here then is becomes uh, find the median number. And then go find the pa palindromic number to the left, find the palindromic number to the right, and then see which one is better. And that's basically what I did. Uh, I added a few more things because I didn't want to prove, uh, because, well, not that I didn't want to prove, but just that I didn't know quite exactly uh, how to get the next palindromic number. So that's basically why. Uh, but yeah, but I, I did a lot of kind of craziness. So I don't know. But basically, uh, yeah, so for median is equal to basically either this or this. Because if it's even, then you just pick, you know, the two numbers and you try both of them. Why not, right? If it's odd, then it's just the one in the middle. Uh, and here, uh, it try get just returns the, the, uh, uh, the temp. And then now the get... Uh, hmm. I actually think I, I did this wrong. This should be a go, not get. <laughs> but, oh well, whoops. I guess it still works. And or this was not necessary because everything else is right. But, um, hmm, that is actually a typo. Yeah. But in any case, yeah, so so we break it down into two cases. So uh, if if, uh, if the number is even, then we just take the prefix. So if the median number is, say, like one, two, three, oops. One two three four five six. Then here the, we just took the prefix. So it's one two three three two one, and then the the next number is either going to be or the smaller number is going to either be this, 
or it could be the next bigger number. It doesn't, you know. It, um, but then either that, I just add one and plus one to kind of test it. So then it's either one to four, four, two, one, or one, two, 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 one. So these are the kind of things that I, I first tried. Um, and, you know, two of those numbers will be the, the, the next smallest one. So I just kind of brute first tried this. And our numbers, the same idea is just if you have one, two, three, four, five, then it just takes one, two, three, two, one, one, two, four, two, one. One two 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 one, and as I said, just to cut um, the, the closest one will be one of these numbers. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the idea. And then as if that's not enough, because I was worried about maybe something like um, I don't know what I was worried about, because I guess it doesn't really come up. But but if you have ten, maybe you could you want to try nine and eleven. Uh, eleven is easy for for this to, for my algo to work, but nine not so. So yeah, so I, I basically brute force <laughs> creating strings of ones and nines and just test all of them uh, in case that I need to add a digit or, or go lower a digit or something like that without realizing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very brute force, uh, but I only do, what is it? So this I call with two numbers. This I call with 20 numbers. So I call 22 times uh, 6, right? So 100 and 20 times, 132 times, you want to be precise, 132 times N, and that is fast enough, apparently. So yeah, uh, that's what I have for this one. It's way brute force. There's a sorting just to get the medium. So this is going to be N log N times that, or plus that, sorry, plus O of N with all these other things. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. Nice. And of course, to make a way equal what? Equal drama? What does that mean? Alright. Choose index. I add the delta to the cos. Change it to x. Okay, maybe. If one element in a way. Okay, so basically. Hmm. Huh. So you basically want to do it to a palindromic number. One that is either the median or as close to the median as possible. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then uh, okay, so we want to minimize the cost. So we want to get a number that's closest, so it's the next palindrome and the last one, right? How do we get the last palindrome number from X? Hmm. 
Hmm. Is it the prefix or the suffix? No, it will be the prefix, right? Uh, this is so annoying to do. Alright, fine. Uh, eh. There's so many weird edge cases. Uh, okay, fine. I'm thinking for odd and even cases. Okay. So. so then this should be the minimal. Maybe. Three, four, one, 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 okay, I mean, that's right. And now... That's tough to get right. Maybe not, we just brute force a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. So basically, is this as the prefix? Okay, let me think about a case though. I mean, like one, two, two, five. One, two, one is good, right? Yeah, we have this. Then one, changing this to one is not the, the smallest one. You want to actually document this right so we just try a bunch of stuff and hopefully we're right okay yeah fine that work for strings mm, I mean technically this works but I think I think for odd numbers that is or odd digits doesn't make sense like if I have it's gonna try like And is it going to one? Is it, uh, oh. is that not right? Yeah, it's going to be too much. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh god, I just do the even numbers first. If it is an even digit, then we just do this. And then we try for this number. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, and then we also try something like this. I don't know if I'm going to miss a case. This is going to be very sad. Right. And then else, if this is odd digits, it's going to be the same, but That's still fine, maybe. Isn't quite done yet, but uh, hopefully. I don't know if this is even remotely right. I'm just trying a bunch of numbers. This one is clearly wrong. 121 should be right. Um, but. Also, that's weird though. Why would we not try 121 on this? Oh, odd number. It's not length of s, it's length of x. No, it's s, but before we divide it into two. Uh, okay. 6, 11, 22. I mean, I, I, that's not quite enough. I want to do something like, like 1 and 11. What, what, what does that give me? 10, maybe that's right. But what about one, two, eleven? Ten is that right? Now it tries one, two, three. This two is the median. I guess that's fine. I, I was hoping it would go nine. That's why, um, but yeah, maybe in that way, in one, two. How would you force a nine? It has to be even number of numbers, I guess. Sixty-one. I guess any number in between these two are fine. So, so it becomes like mm, I, st I don't know if I need this, but I'm gonna try anyway.
still 161, huh? You know that? Because any numbers in between two of them are fine. So this, the only thing that could be a little bit different is if it is... Something like that. Then you want to do 999. And the answer is this, but if we don't have it... I guess it's still the right answer. Maybe, maybe because of one 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 one. I don't know. Why is the answer not nine nine nine? Hmm. Oh, because one zero zero one is also one. So you're always on, close to one of them, maybe. I don't know. Still going to YOLO submit this, I guess. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if I'm missing a case, but that's why I... I, I hmm. Looks okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I could have submitted that earlier. I don't know. That one's kind of... Yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks, thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Happy holidays. See you later. Bye-bye.